Chancellor Jonathan Bennett, born April 16, 1993, known professionally as Chance the Rapper, is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, record producer, activist, actor, and philanthropist. Born in Chicago, Illinois, Chance the Rapper released his debut mixtape 10 Day in 2012. He began to gain mainstream recognition in 2013 after releasing his second mixtape, Acid Rap. He then released his third mixtape, Coloring Book in 2016, which garnered further critical acclaim and attention. It earned him three Grammy Awards, including the award for Best Rap Album. Upon winning, it became the first streaming-only album to win a Grammy Award, and peaked at number 8 on the Billboard 200. His debut studio album The Big Day was released on July 26, 2019. Alongside his solo career, Chance the Rapper is a member of the Chicago collective Save Money, and is the vocalist for the band The Social Experiment. They released the album Surf in May 2015, led by trumpeter Nico Siegel. He is also involved in social activism in the Chicago community where he resides. Chancellor Jonathan Bennett was born in Chicago, Illinois. His father, Ken Williams Bennett, was an aide to the late Chicago Mayor Harold Washington and then-Senator Barack Obama. His mother, Lisa Bennett, worked for the Illinois Attorney General. Bennett grew up in the middle-class neighborhood of West Chatham on Chicago's south side. When Bennett was 16, his father began to work in the Department of Labor during President Barack Obama's first term. Bennett personally met President Obama in his youth and discussed his aspirations to be a rapper, to which Obama responded with word. Bennett was originally going to move to Washington, D.C. following Obama's win in the 2008 presidential election, though those plans eventually fell through. Bennett attended Jones College Prep High School where he was a member of the Jewish Student Union. Chance the Rapper explains how he's still independent, despite Apple Music deal. Although the album was self-released, and Chance famously had no relationship with a label, the Apple Music deal caused many people to question Chance's self-proclaimed independence as an artist. Bennett's interest in music began with Michael Jackson, who he exclusively listened to on cassettes until the fifth grade. Growing up, Bennett's parents were constantly playing music, including Billie Holiday, Sam Cooke, and other artists in the jazz and gospel genres. Bennett began listening to hip-hop after hearing Through the Wire by Kanye West on the radio while walking through Hyde Park, Chicago. After finding out the song was on West's debut album The College Dropout, Bennett purchased the album, making it the first hip-hop album that Bennett listened to. Bennett considers West a huge influence on him and has said that he was inspired to begin rapping by West. Bennett and West met each other in August 2014 at Bonnaroo Music Festival. Bennett began rapping in the sixth grade when his cousin let him start using his studio. In his freshman year at Jones College Prep High School, Bennett formed the hip-hop duo Instrumentality alongside a friend. Many of Chance's earliest performances took place at the Wyomdia Lyricist Loft at Harold Washington Library in Chicago. After placing second in a local songwriter contest, Bennett met then-Chicago mayor, Richard M. Daly who enjoyed his music. Bennett spent most of his junior year and a small amount of his senior year writing a draft for his debut project, 10 Day, which was later released after Bennett was suspended for 10 days after being caught smoking cannabis. Bennett has stated in interviews with XXL and Complex that Kanye West, James Brown, MC Hammer, Prince, Lupe Fiasco, Common, Young Thug, Lil Wayne, Esham, Eminem, Souls of Mischief and Freestyle Fellowship have influenced him. When asked about the gospel influences in his music, he also has stated that Kirk Franklin is one of his favorite artists, and his favorite composer. Bennett's music has been described as versatile and uplifting. His music generally contains jazz-inspired melodies and gospel influences. Bennett's lyrics usually have references to Christian theology, his struggles with his faith and his upbringing. Chance incorporates choirs into his music to attempt to maximize the gospel undertones. Shard Chapman at HuffPost has described Bennett's lyrics as creative and colorful. Bennett often does traditional singing songs, and possesses a light lyric tenor voice with an expansive vocal range that spans three octaves. Bennett's vocal range reaches its extreme low at the bass F, F2, and rises to its peak high at the tenor high F, F5. 
Bennett's fashion style is a large part of his public image, and he has taken interest in the industry. Bennett has designed hats for the Chicago White Sox. The Hollywood Reporter has said that Bennett is redefining fashion with his style of generally wearing overalls and contesting traditional hip-hop fashion norms. Bennett wore a suit that was meant to imitate Michael Jackson at the 2017 Bet Awards. Bennett was seen wearing Tom Brown clothing at the 2017 Grammys. Bennett has been known to wear a signature hat with the number 3 on it. I've rationalized it to myself that it stands for the third mixtape, the Holy Trinity, and the three-pronged family of myself, my daughter, and my girl, Bennett said in an interview in regards to the meaning of the number 3. In July 2012, Bennett appeared on American rapper Childish Gambino's sixth mixtape, Royalty, on the track They Don't Like Me. Gambino would go on to ask Bennett to join on his first concert tour of North America as his opening act. On April 30, 2013, Bennett released his second mixtape, Acid Rap, on Datpiff. The record has been downloaded over 1.5 million times. Bennett enlisted guest appearances from Twista, Vic Mensa, Saba, BJ the Chicago Kid, Action Bronson, Childish Gambino, and Absol. Acid Rap was well received by critics. At Metacritic, the mixtape received an average score of 86, based on 21 critics, which indicates universal acclaim. It was nominated for Best Mixtape at the 2013 Bet Hip Hop Awards. On May 6, 2013, the song Paranoia, produced by No Such Thing, after initially being featured as a hidden track on Acid Rap, was released as a contribution to Yours Truly and Adidas Originals Songs from Scratch series. In June 2013, Bennett was featured in a commercial for MySpace as part of their relaunch, alongside fellow American rappers Mac Miller, Farrell Williams, and Schoolboy Q, among others. In July 2013, Acid Rap debuted at number 63 on the Billboard Top R&B slash Hip Hop Albums chart, due to downloads on iTunes and Amazon. In August 2013, Bennett performed at the Chicago Music Festival Lollapalooza. Acid Rap was listed on multiple 50 Best Albums of 2013 lists, including 26th for Rolling Stone 12th on Pitchfork's list, and ranked 4th by Complex. It was also listed as one of NPR Music's 50 Favorite Albums of 2013. Bennett began his social experiment tour in Champaign, Illinois, on October 25, 2013, lasting until December 19, 2013. In March 2014, Bennett appeared in a shoppable online video for Dockers, promoting the brand's spring line, in which Bennett talks his style, love for creating music, and how it feels to live in Los Angeles. On May 5, 2014, XXL revealed Bennett was included in their annual freshman class, alongside fellow up-and-comers Isaiah Rashad, Ty Dolla Dollar IGN, Rich Homie Chuan, Vic Mensa, August Alsina, Troy Ave, Kevin Gates, Lil Bibby, John Connor, Lil Durk and Jaron Benton. During fall 2014, Bennett and other artists participated in Verge Campus Tour. In November 2014, Bennett was presented Chicago's Outstanding Youth of the Year Award by Mayor Rahm Emanuel. In January 2015, Bennett was listed number 7 on the Forbes 30 Under 30 2015 music list. In March 2015, Bennett released a short film called Mr. Happy, which was directed by Colin Tilley. Mr. Happy centers around the main character, named Victor, who is struggling from depression and was attempting to commit suicide. After many failed attempts to kill himself, he discovers Mr. Happy. Along with boxer Mike Tyson, Bennett worked with Madonna to write and feature on the track Iconic released that same month. On April 30, 2015, Bennett gave a lecture at Harvard University's Hip Hop Archive and Research Institute. Just before midnight on May 28, 2015, Surf was released for free on the American iTunes Store as an iTunes exclusive. The album received high acclaim from music critics, receiving an aggregate score of 86 on review site Metacritic, which indicates universal acclaim, based on 17 reviews. In June 2015, Bennett performed at the Bonnaroo Music Festival in the Super Jam Concert Collection. He also made a guest performance with fellow rapper Kendrick Lamar, on stage with Earth, Wind and Fire.
What is your favorite song of his? Let us know who your favorite artist 